by Remax Diamond Realty. Liz from Remax Diamond Realty is here, and we are talking about home warranties, Liz. Mm -hmm. that, that's interesting because, you know, like, I'm big into technology. I buy a lot of electronics and everything. Most people say, would you want to buy the warranty for this? I never knew that this kind of device also applies for homes. Mm -hmm. and what, what exactly cover is okay. covered under the warranty? So, for example, if you bought a home that's 10 years old, right? Mm. Um, the only thing that uh, there are no warranties on that particular home. So usually when a buyer purchases uh, a home that's maybe 10 years old, uh, parts of the contingencies in their purchase agreement is that, of course, subject to their loan approval, subject to appraisal, but also it's subject to an inspection. So they can hire an inspector to inspect the home to check what are, if there are any deficiencies in the home. Is the plumbing having problems? Uh, do they have problems with the electrical? And then they also look at the structure. Is it a sound structure? Um, so that protects the buyer when they buy it. They know what they're going into. And we always recommend that you do that. Now, you could hire someone, you could bring your uncle that's an engineer, you could bring whoever you choose, but the due diligence and the responsibility falls on the buyer. Now, if um, you decide to buy a brand new home, and uh, that brand new home by law has an 18 month warranty. Mm. So the warranty is that during standard that, times? Yes, it's, it's by standard. the law. Okay. By law, it's got an 18 month warranty. So let's say for example, you, you're, you bought a home and you've been in it in a year, and you found a structural crack or something's leaking, then the contractor's obligation is to come back in and correct the deficiency. Their job is to fix that. You know, so the warranties protect you as a buyer um, because you're buying a brand new home. Or if the plumbing is deficient again, it's leaking, uh, the toilet isn't flushing properly. So these are things that you would bring uh, to the attention of the contractor that built your home. Mm -hmm. And I'm unable to have my own inspector go in there and take care of it? Can I, can I you, handpick someone? You actually, we've had I buyers okay. that you could, prior to the closing of escrow, you would come in and do your own uh, inspection. Now, what we the buyers have normally done is they have a punch list of items. And the punch list of items, let's say uh, the paint is deficient, it's not... Um, painted on properly or you're missing a caulking in around the rim or whatever the issue may be within the home, we refer to that as a punch list of items and we normally document that as you go through the inspection. Sometimes you take these blue tapes and you tape it wherever you see because mm -hmm. you forget about it. Broken and then you tile. make a list, yes. Yeah. And then the contractor comes in and corrects that prior to your close of escrow so that it's exactly what you purchased. So if there's any issues later, you can still go back and say, hey, um, there's still a problem here and we need to get it corrected. So by law, he is obligated to go back and fix uh, whatever the problem may be at that point. But you're right, prior to closing of escrow of buying a brand new home, you should do an inspection as well. So if the contractor or, or the inspector catches some issues, uh, again, that should be corrected by the contractor. Okay, now you and I have been working together long enough for you to know that I tend to think of things in like weird situations. <laughs> um, what would happen if say like I bought a house, I've got 18 months of warranty on it. Um, something happens, I get a uh, job offer in the States, there's a medical emergency I need to attend to, I mm -hmm. have to up and relocate. Like I wind up moving somewhere else on the island, right? Is the person who then moves into the house, does the remainder of the warranty yes, apply to that new it's one? it's applicable the, okay. because it's still a new home. Now, Subject to reinspection yes, again, yes. I would assume. Well, the, um, usually at the, at, uh, when the construction is built, they normally give you a certificate of warranty. And um, so you'll have your, all your appropriate paperwork. Also, when you close a home, you want to get your whole set. You want to get the, uh, the uh, occupancy permit, a copy of that. You want to get a copy of all the inspections that were conducted during uh, the course of construction. Pretty much as a homeowner, you want to have these documentations so that if anything crops up, you know, during the warranty period or during the course of your ownership, including your blueprint and your floor plan, because Later, you may want to add an additional bedroom and you want to know where the electrical outlets fit or where the plumbing is. 
you need those floor plans, you need those blueprints in order to um, have another contractor uh, do your extension or to do whatever's needed to renovate that, uh, at that point. Oh, that is interesting. I was, I was just wondering, like, you know, if the transferability of the warranty, if, yes. like, it applies to somebody else. Yes, That's good. I mean, That's because good it's during that period, uh, mm -hmm. it's during that 18 month period, and it, the warranty is for the structure. Fantastic. Well, yes. we thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and thank you for watching. We are back right after this.